Hey guys, it's Mr. B here again. Thank you for checking out my video today. I hope you enjoy this brand new PowerPoint tutorial. Today we will be making a 3D rotating dice for our PowerPoint game. If you like to see more contents like this, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. So here we have a 3D dice. We can check it out by hitting the play button here. And you can click on this dice to see it randomly change. All right, awesome. You can grab this free template below this video in the description box. But I hope you can follow along with me and make this 3D dice for yourself. So let's click File up here. And we're going to choose New Presentation. And we are going to open a brand new um, slide here. And we don't need this, so we can delete this. And then we want to go up here, Insert. And we want to find 3D Models up here. And let's click on that. And open our 3D model. All right. Once we click on the 3D model here, we want to click on Stock 3D Models. And it's going to load up uh, an option on the right side here. And we're going to type in Dice. And then hit Enter. And we are just going to pick one of the dice here. You can pick any one you want. And I'll pick this one and then just hit insert. And now you have your 3D model inserted into your uh, slide here. And if you click on the 3D model here, uh, you can see there's many options. And you can even rotate the dice to take a look at different angles as well. If you click up here, you can choose the preset images. And you can also choose different angles up here as well. Let's head back up here and we're going to choose this one, this image right here. And let's give it a name. Um, so let's open our selection pane. Uh, and then over here, we're going to call it dice one and we're going to do this five more times so I'll just copy and paste this and I'll choose this one two and I'll call this dice two and again um, I'm going to uh, copy and paste but before that let's make sure we put everything in order here so copy paste and this is going to be dice number three and I'll just drag this uh, oops, let's drag this down here below two. And I'm going to copy, paste, and then I'm going to choose picture number four here and call this dice number four. And we're going to do that for the fifth one as well. Copy, paste, and choose uh, here, this one. Call it dice number five. And we'll just drag it underneath four. And we have one more, so copy, paste, and choose this image here. And we'll call this dice six. And we'll drag it here. And once we have all the dice, uh, we'll just align center and choose aligned uh, middle. All right, once we have everything aligned, let's go up to the shape here and choose this rectangle shape. And let's just draw a small rectangle here. And uh, let's set the height to um, 1.8 and the width 1.3. And let's put a number in here. We'll call this 1 and copy, paste, and place this next to the 1. And we'll call this number 2. Again, copy, paste, and set it next to number 2 and call this 3. 
and you want to do it um, three more times we need six rectangle shapes here so I'll just copy the top one and paste it down here and I'll call this four five and six and now we want to go into our selection pane and give it a name because it's very important because later on we're going to animate the dice and we need uh, the right trigger and uh, label for it all right so let's again just like how we did it with the dice let's move everything so that it's in order one two three four five and six now I'll go to format shape here and I'm going to choose transparency and set it to about 60 so I can see what's going on in the back and now we're ready to animate the dice so I'll select dice one to six go up to animation here and you notice that there are some new animations now uh, for the 3d model so we have here turntable swing and also jump turn we're going to use jump turn for our demonstration today so choose jump turn now open animation pane and we want this here and we want to choose strong here and now we're going to go to timing and set it to one second remember the square that we label is very important now we're going to set it to the trigger here click dice one click on triggers and we're going to click on one square one here again for dice two to square two dice three to square three and so on Awesome, let's check out the animation. Let's hit the play button. As you can see, the dice is jumping and animating, but there's a dice in front of it, so we need to fix that. So let's open selection pane and choose dice uh, two, three, four, and five. We're gonna hide that by hitting the exit animation and choosing disappear. And on click here, we're going to put it under one. And let's choose dice one here and give it an arrive animation and we'll also put that under uh, one here and let's change the um, the duration here to 0.5 and select everything and choose with previous now when you click on it the rest of the dice is gone and it only an animates the first dice all right so uh, let's do the rest for um, the other dice. So what you want to do is for dice number two, three, four, five, and six, you want to do the same thing. Choose dice one, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to choose the exit animation here and choose disappear. And for uh, dice two, we click on dice two and choose um, arrive. All right, so we highlight everything and we put on a, num a number two and then we choose with previous and make sure uh, dice 2 is set to uh, 0 0.5 and we want to do the same thing for dice 3 dice 4 dice 5 and dice 6 so the same uh, step we did for uh, the first dice All right, now that we have all of our dice uh, set, we can check it out by clicking on uh, one of these uh, random squares here, or rectangle, and you can see that your dice is animated, uh, but it's doing the same animation, so we want to change uh, the animation a little bit for uh, each click. To do that, just click here and go to Effect Option, and you can change uh, the direction, like up here, and we'll click on this one and we'll choose this one and we'll scroll down to three 
and we'll do the same as well, we'll choose a different animation, and so on. All right, awesome. Now we can select the uh, first animation here. We're going to put in some sound effects for our dice. So click only uh, the first animation and we'll go to effects option and click on sound here and scroll to other sound. And I have some sound effects here. You can choose from one of these, whichever one you like. So let's try uh, this sound effects here and we'll insert that in. If you're not happy with the sound effects, you can change the sound effects. Uh, let's try this one here and we'll insert that one and see what that uh, sounds like. All right, the last thing to do is to select all the rectangle or the square here. Right click and go to format object and change the transparency to 100. And also, you want to get rid of the number, so click on the text option here and go to transparency, transparency 100. And now the squares are invisible and ready for your PowerPoint game. All right, now I'm just going to add a background. I'm going to put in this wood top background here. And I'll drag that down uh, to the bottom of my slide here and give it a name. I'll call it uh, wood top. And then I'll just move this image below the dice here and then change the background gradient as well. Um, let's choose a uh, choose radio and let's choose a preset gradient here. Make sure this is set to 50 and the first color I'll choose white and this one will be yellow and the last one will be dark green. And let's take a look at it again. Super! I hope you guys enjoy this little tutorial. And if you do, don't forget to like, share, and comment. Thank you for watching my video today. I want to wish you the best of luck in your classes.